we have a couple of guys here in your pits. Who are these handsome gentlemen? Oh, <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's my mechanic, Jimmy, and then uh, my father, Tom. So Jimmy Genitelli, he does a lot for me and my dad as well. They're definitely my two supporters. <laughs> Just oh, hanging out. <laughs> it's my dad. There's, there's your dad hanging out. And uh, I guess, Jimmy, he likes starting your motorcycle, correct? Uh, I mean, I need somebody to push me off. So, I mean, he's definitely, if he's willing to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants to take your place. He wants to be the new Sarah Cords here. <laughs> I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh, Jimmy's a good guy. We like him. He really likes you as far as like helping you. He's a really, is he a really big help in your corner? Yeah, he's definitely done a, a lot for me. And he, he keeps the, my bikes at his uh, garage and stuff like that and helps me out. And I can go down there and work on them and wash them whenever I need. And he definitely, he just transports and just support. He's always been a big support for many years. So it's good. He's yeah. a good person to have on my side. He's a good. And I guess you like going to the beach. Is that correct? Oh, yeah, that was so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Gosh, my yeah. little sister looks so little. <laughs> which which one are you? Taller. I can't tell. Which one are you? I'm, the on, right the, I'm on the right. Yeah, my little <laughs> sister now, she's actually taller than me. <laughs> oh, that's fine. And who's this? You and your sister again? Yeah, you're just pulling out some gems. <laughs> oh, we're having some fun <laughs> with you, Sarah. <laughs> just don't get mad. And I guess you like ice hockey. Oh, you're, you're an ice hockey lover. <laughs> yeah, Ontario Rain. I like the. I like going to hockey games. It's pretty fun to watch people beat each other up. Oh, yeah, we like those <laughs> fights, you know. In the old days at Costa Mesa, when I was a little child, they used to like have fights in the stands because they sold lots of beer. And then when you have a lot of drunk teenage boys, you have fights. <laughs> oh, so that was fun. And uh, so yeah, so you've you've really done well in your days, and uh, you've uh, you went from the pink uniform, and now you're sponsored by. Lucas Oil. How did all that happen? Um, thanks to Scott Tonkington. He uh, got me hooked up with Lucas Oil, and he's gotten many people hooked up with Lucas Oil, actually. Um, he definitely is a huge help. They have helped keep my bikes clean, my bikes running right, all the cleaners. They helped keep all my vehicles clean, <laughs> you know. So all their products are definitely great to use, and I use them all the time for basically everything. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you get around for that five foot one frame. That's actually to your advantage because you have a not very heavy body. So that, that gets you around the track on those 500s pretty fast. Um, to an extent, honestly, sometimes I wish I had more weight because of my, I don't have a very good power to weight ratio. My bike basically doesn't feel me on it. So I need a, I need more weight in my rear end to be able to get the traction and the drive that I need without just spinning my tires. Exactly. Because I'm only well, 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's soaking wet, I think. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely, I got to do a lot of compensation with, with like short pegs and my back wheels up all the way and lots of compensation. <laughs> uh. Well, just eat lots of fast food and you'll get like a couple kilos on your ass, probably. <laughs> Not fast food. I'll go eat some burgers. <laughs> uh, get, get some burgers. What the heck, you know? Yeah, you know, when I when I was living near you over there, uh, I, I could just look at like a milkshake and I would gain like five pounds. So you should be able to gain some weight somewhere. <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah, you get that what double double with those beautiful fries, and I like that strawberry shake at the In and Out. I mean, I'm sad if I had that combo. <laughs> That's good. So you have a problem gaining weight, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, 
most of us fat people really wish we had that problem. So I guess it's no problem to some of us. It's a lots of people uh, not being able to gain weight. So you have a good problem, I think. <laughs> yes. So no traction for me though. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. That's a real problem. You know, I, I was kind of a little heavier and stuff. And uh, when I was racing my last time in, at the Grand and stuff, and I just sat my fat ass down and I just dug in and whoa! Oh, that was good. <laughs> so being heavy and having a fat ass really like gets you going, <laughs> baby. It's cool. Yeah, I bet. I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, oh, dang. You're missing the boat, sir. You're missing the boat. <laughs> No, that's cool. And uh, yeah, so you, you used to be a blonde. What happened? Can you see this picture? Yes, yes, I can. What happened? That's you changed your hair to brown and uh, you went from a surfer girl to a racer girl, I guess. Um. Well, I don't know. I've been I was blonde my whole life. I mean, it's just hair. You can always change it back. <laughs> and I, it hasn't it hasn't been this long since I've done that, but nice. yeah, I mean honestly, it's life's too short not to do anything different, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, I you know the the girlfriends that I've had, they've always like they got their hair straight and they did the rebonding and all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, oh good, you got straight hair, and then. Just a couple days later, they're putting curls in their hair. I'm like, wait a minute, don't put curls in your hair. And a couple of days, they're cutting it short and they're dyeing it, like uh, putting brown in their hair and red highlights. And oh, girls. <laughs> I mean, it's something to do. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. You know, girls sometimes get bored with their hair and they're like, I want to do something different. And us guys are really boring, I think, mostly with our hair. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh, so, um, so actually, you raced uh, 21. Get, let's get back to Speedway. Forget the hair. Who cares about that? Um, you actually raced in the 21 and under uh, championship here like a few months ago or something. And you got, uh, I think you got eight points. Is that right? Um, I believe so. That's pretty good. I mean, I I mean, you must feel good about your writing, right? I mean, you're doing really good right now. Yeah, I mean, any points make you feel good, <laughs> as long yeah. as you get don't get a DNF. Um, I don't know. I usually my racing is all learning experiences for me at this point. You know, like I'm not necessarily trying to go out there and win a race. So every single ride that I go out, I take something from it and I learn from it. <laughs> 